You're watching Gold Rush on a Rush, and we're recapping the Season 12 episode, The Hunker Creek Curse. So what happened? Without any good ground, Brennan takes a guess at the location for a new cut, which within seconds is completely open and cleared. A test pan shows good gold. They name it the Bacon Strip. At one point, a rock truck's parking brake gets stuck while on a pile of pay. Would it surprise you to learn that despite the dramatic music and quick camera edits during its rescue, no one dies. An uneventful cleanup produces 75.92 ounces. First off, for those who ask, one of Tony's dredges makes a rare on-screen appearance. It's not being used or acknowledged in any way, but it's there. Tony decides to return to the hunker cut, which we now learn is cursed. Just to forewarn you, if you take a drink every time someone says curse in this episode, you'll be dead before the end credits. The cut is under three feet of water and needs to be pumped out. Kevin also needs to overhaul the wash plant. And everything is running fine until the wash plant starts on fire. The engine overheated and the cylinder heads are warped. It will take two weeks to fix, and it's cleanup time. They find 173.32 ounces, prompting Tony to reduce his 9,000 ounce goal to 4,500. Also worth noting, Tony's new granddaughter is named Jasmine, which if I'm remembering right is also the name of his dredge hauling barge. Weird. There must be more to this story. Fred's crew finally gets down to bedrock, but now he needs to find a wash plant. He doesn't have a wash plant yet? Why would someone go this far into a season without a wash plant? He has a team meeting and tells his crew he has a lead on one 130 miles away he wants to go see. And then, through terrible editing, it's revealed this entire scene is just fabricated garbage. Because when he leaves his crew, it's summer, but when he arrives, three hours later, to see the wash plant, he's actually traveled back in time to early spring and there is now snow everywhere. Not to mention Fred's hair length got dramatically shorter in his drive to the wash plant. So it's clear the wash plant scene had already happened. Anyway, the wash plant is in disrepair. Fred hauls it to a mechanic, and the mechanic says it needs $30,000 in repairs. Fred somehow has $25,000 and offers to work off the other $5,000, which for some reason the mechanic accepts. Of course, this makes me ask about a hundred other questions. How much did the investor actually give Fred to spend? How much is the lease on the wash plant? How much did it cost to transport it? How was Fred paying for all the other equipment and fuel? How is any of this even close to approaching reality? Maybe this is all just a fever dream I'm having. A terrible after effect of the gas station sushi I keep eating. Tune in next time when grizzly bears devour all of Fred's team. How could they resist the sweet taste of seasoned veterans? And the episodes just keep dragging on. Really enjoying this season. Thanks for watching, everybody. If you enjoyed the episode, go ahead and hit the like button, subscribe, watch the old episodes, leave a comment below, and I'll be back again next week.